Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to design this type of website. So the first step will be to have everything in place. I have the logo, fonts, colors, everything already defined. Now the next step will be to define the layout grid. I use 12 columns and the margin, it depends. But in this case, I'm gonna use 60 for now. Um, I'm gonna hide this again, right? So I want to have this design inside of a frame. So let me show you what I have in mind. We want to start with making a full square, all right? Let's give it some color. In this case, I'm gonna use this black. All right, we're gonna send it back to the, to the whole design, just like this. For now, we're gonna hide the layer grid. We don't really need it at this moment. We need to play around with those shapes to achieve the frame that we have in mind. So the first step will be to drag and drop this first shape and then create a mask on the background. Now, we, we have a seal. We need to fill the empty space that we have left, all right? So, okay, let's, let's go back to the original color that we've been using. So the good thing about using a mask is that you can actually play around. You can change the location. You know, um, you have a lot of freedom in case that you want to modify the frame. So using the same technique, I have already achieved this. Um, I want to just transform the shape a little bit more, just like this. All right, because this is supposed to be the nut bar. I have duplicated the shape that we had. Uh, now we need to make sure the shape uh, fits well. Okay, it need to be aligned with um, with the frame. All right, I think um, I think right now is working well. Let's maybe bring this a little bit more. Okay, so it feels more like a extension and not just something different or outside of the frame. All right, so let's bring back the samurai. And as we can see, things are already getting on place here. So I guess you already figured out, but this will be the place for the logo. So let's just copy and paste the logo in this white space that we have left. Okay. I think this can work for now. All right. So now let's start adding some text. Okay. Um, I'm going to increase the size uh, to this one to maybe 500. Um, I'm gonna just use Dystopia as the main heading and we're gonna use red just to make um, a really good contrast between the, the object and the text. Let's make sure the text is aligned with the frame and the entire table. So of course we need a call to action, all right? So I already have it there. We're gonna use the same technique and we're gonna bring this into the mask that we already have. In this case, I want to have like some deep effect on it. I'm gonna duplicate the shape and I'm gonna bring this into the mask. We're gonna change the color to white and it should look like this, all right? So you can play around with the size of it, but this is how it's looking so far. So the items for the nut bar, this is something that you will have to create according to your needs because sometimes uh, e-commerce website, it have a different nut bar, uh, informational website is different or even a dashboard. So in this case, I'm going more uh, for an informational website. So we have the classic items like home, courses, about us. In this case, if the, the, the website will search items, you can have add to car icons, search icon, which will help to find any element on the website easy for the user. So you have to always consider that. Now to the background itself, I want to add some texture. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna play just like this, as you can see. We have um, a noisy background. We have some red gradient in, just in the back. And, you know, we, we give in the, the background more texture, more, um, you know, more personality. So this is the final result uh, in my lack of information, but this is the first frame of uh, sequence animations that I will show you in a bit. But so far, let me know what you think on the comments. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have an interesting idea, let me know.